Hello, my name's Leon Hurley. I am associate editor for officialplaystationmagazine.co.uk. And I'm Joel Gregory, reviews editor for Official PlayStation Magazine. And uh, we're here to talk about Journey, which, as you can see here, involves uh, a cloaked man walking through the desert. Uh, Joel, can you well, I cloak something, anyway. Cloaked. I don't actually know if it's a man or a woman. Um, yeah, so basically that's the premise, as it were. Uh, you, you wake up uh, in the desert and there's a mountain sort of far in the distance that you can see sort of over to the right there. Uh, and you just have to walk towards it because it's really the only sort of identifier landmark um, and the game sort of develops from there so how how does that expand as a, as a game I mean pushing forward towards a mountain doesn't I mean I've played it so I'm, I'm playing devil's advocate here I think it's amazing how how does this work as a game uh, well mechanically it's, it's not hugely complex I mean I think you, you use your analog stick and two buttons to do the whole thing it's, it's slightly puzzly although in a very gentle sense in that you have to um, sort of activate bridges uh, or sort of free little bits of that floating cloth that you can see there. Can we just see, yeah, so we saw the scarf lighting up there. Can you just explain what this, this whole system is? Yeah, so basically um, the scarf that you've got on your back uh, dictates how far and high and long you can jump slash float for. So as you go through the game, you pick up sort of extensions to your scarf, which see that, look at there, that's quite a sort of short jump. By the end of the game, your scarf will be 20 foot odd long and you'll be able to sort of float and glide across huge distances, um, which of course helps you reach you know, different areas of the game uh, and uh, it becomes kind of very free-flowing and, and you kind of glide across uh, great swathes of desert it's very very exciting mm. um, yeah and we see here obviously um, building bridges the scarves kind of almost act as like the, the power source don't they like yeah so I mean this is an example of it's sort of a puzzle though it's very easy to solve you have to go around and, and kind of activate um, a, you do a little sort of yelpy shout thing which which releases a kind of pulse of energy and then that bit you're standing on a load of cloth goes and builds bridges um, and then you can act, access the next area yeah. Um, yeah, see, there you go. That's that's your yelpy sure. shout. Um, the online side is amazing because um, when I played it, obviously you can. That's the only way of communicating with other people. We can see another guy here. Now you just meet people randomly, don't you? Yeah, and you he's can, got a bigger he's scarf. Got a, look at the size of that scarf. <laughs> um, but yeah, you sort of you can chirp and you sort of interact with these people. But it's very limited in terms of communication. Yeah, it's it's weirdly limited, but also quite liberating because you don't have someone yakking in your ear all the time. But also you, you kind of develop a language with your shout. Sort of you know you know what little shout means and big shout means and mm. you, you just kind of semi-silently go about your business with someone else in tow it's it's weird it's it's like it sounds really sort of pretentious but it's more of an experience than a straight-up game um, mm. you know it's only it's only two odd hours long but everyone who's played it you know in the offices so far has just come away completely mind blown uh, and, uh, and I was the same when I played it um, a couple of weeks ago the sound is uh, also incredible I mean um, the music I think that's part of what the experience is the music sort of lifts and soars and sort of takes you along with it uh, there's a beautiful sequence um, where you drop into a cavern and the sound actually drops away and it's the first time you realise how important it's been with this mu like when you're flying the music's like swirling and yeah I mean it's we were talking it's been in development for a long time and you think well where's you know all this all this time gone in a game that lasts two hours but I think to create I mean first of all it looks amazing I mean just look you know the way the sand moves mm. the the lighting effects everything sort of shimmers and glitters and yeah like you say the music's great but they've just so carefully constructed this kind of beautiful experience which is perfectly titled because you do feel like you've been on, on yeah. kind of a, a gaming journey and and a bit of an emotional journey as well it's weird how much of a connection you create with what is essentially a, a hooded figure wearing a scarf I mean you really do care by the end it's um it's, it's something of an achievement to uh, to do what they've done yeah and considering yeah the, min the, the fact that it is so minimal it does it works beautifully you never get lost it's a, it's a really interesting experience and and it reflects that in the score I mean you gave it I gave it 10 and it's absolutely something that I think everybody should play um, one of the best games I've played for a long time